Noel gave me this wonderful plank of yew wood and I spent quite a long time working out what to do with it. It's long and narrow, so I needed a long and narrow design. The old folk tale of the musicians of Bremen seemed like a suitable theme to follow, so I sketched a couple of ideas along the same lines. After all, we have donkeys and dogs and poultry, and there's usually a cat hanging around somewhere too. I added a goose and piled them up in a stack. Then I scanned that into the computer and started work on it. But then I decided that there might be too much wood taken out with this design, and the wood is what it's all about, really. So I tightened everything up to reduce the gaps as much as possible. And that meant moving things around and getting the dog to lie down to take up less space. Lie down, Annie. Instead of a donkey, which is gangly, I put in a honeybee. But that design didn't work either because it wasn't tall enough. So I put the donkey back in again and added a sheep and a hen. But then Sandra rightly pointed out that I'd forgotten to put in any horses. But the problem with a horse shape is it's bigger than all the other animals. So either it would stick out sideways or have to be shrunk and then it would be way out of scale with everything else. So radical action was needed, and I chopped off his head and flipped it over so he was looking the other way, and that made the shape much easier to fit in. And I was able to add a pig, a guinea pig, and a rabbit, and a rat, all things that we have around the place. So now I had 13 animals in the design, which seems plenty. Just think of the feed bill. I then spent a long time converting it to vectors on the computer and tidying up all the edges. Time to put it on the operating table. That is the CNC machine. First I used an eighth inch bit. The plan was to cut down to a depth of seven millimeters but it was going to take many hours to do it all and the bit was too big to get into the corners anyway. Okay, so I started again with a bit just half as wide. This time the plan is to make a thin cut that follows the line and then cut the back off the plank to free up the pieces that aren't supposed to be there. And that went fine, though it did take over two hours. And then I went over it again with a pointy shaped cutter bit. And this went even further into the corners and the detail. And it also gave a, a little chamfer to the edges. Then I took it over to the workshop and chopped off the ends. And then onto the table saw to carefully cut the back off. The saw cuts didn't quite meet in the middle, so I took it to the bandsaw. But the bandsaw was just a little too small, so I took the table off the bandsaw. And that made all the difference. There was still a ridge along the back though, and that was holding some pieces in. So I ran it through the planer, but that was a mistake because part of the cat's tail disappeared. Lots of careful finishing came next, and patching the broken tail. Show. 
and then some Danish oil. That's the tail that had to be mended. Oh yeah, yeah looks good. Danish oil, is it? Danish oil, yep. I was thinking if I made a second one, they could be doors on a bathroom cabinet, perhaps, or a spice rack for the kitchen. Or I could just hang it on the wall, just as it is. What do you think? <laughs>